Yes, you read that right, and you might be asking yourself, why, Shelby, why would you do this to yourself? And the answer is because this is the internet. This is what the internet was made for. No, but in all seriousness, apparently using a bidet is much more eco-friendly in terms of water use and obviously waste because you're not having to use any paper to wipe your bum. It still sounds miserable. I feel that it is kind of my duty to do this for you as the eco-youtuber, as the zero waste YouTuber as someone who does not want to promote using trees to wipe your ass because that seems pretty silly to use virgin trees to do your dirty work for you. I don't use virgin trees. I don't know who does that unless you hate the planet and that's really rude of you. Now, despite my better judgment, I decided to go ahead and try this experiment because I have a bidet in this house and I need to decide if it's worth moving to my next house. Is it something that I want to keep and I want to use and utilize or is it something that I think I could just leave here when I leave, you know what I mean? According to what I found online, an average bidet takes about one eighth of a gallon of water to wipe off or to spray off your business. Whereas an average roll of toilet paper takes about 37 gallons of water to produce. Now I don't feel like this is advocating a huge change, especially when you consider that a big part of the water that you would need to create toilet paper would go into growing a tree. And since I use recycled toilet paper and or bamboo toilet paper, I feel like it's not quite the same. And even if you're comparing the 1 8th of a gallon that it takes to use of a day and the 37 gallons, it takes to produce a roll of toilet paper, you don't only use a roll of toilet paper the one time, you have to figure out how many uses are in an average roll of toilet paper and do the math there to see what the savings would actually be and if it really constitutes, you know. You know. Also, side note, apparently outside of the US, this is completely normal to use a bidet and they would not have a reaction like I'm having to it. It would be relatively normal, but for me, I have literally never used a bidet in my life. So uh, I had Madison install the one that we have. It's by a brand called Eco Bidet. I'll leave a link to it or another one below. And um, yeah, I had Madison install it. I'm very intimidated by having to use it, but let me show you what it looks like. Oh, also just don't mind that like I still have Christmas toilet paper because I have so much, so much toilet paper in my house. This whole box is actually still full. Yeah. Very appealing and luxurious, wouldn't you say? So it's literally just like a hose and I'm supposed to spray this up my bum. Okay. So goodbye to my favorite toilet paper. I will see you next week because this week, this guy is going to be my best friend. Okay, wish me luck. One thing I have yet to do up until now is video myself on the toilet. Hi, this is my this is my job. This is my career. How am I doing? I'm just going to do my business and then uh, use this guy to clean it up. I feel like it has to come from over here because it has to, there we go. It's going to have to hang like on my, on my, uh, what is this? Oh, it wouldn't even go there. Oh yeah, well look, new hanging hack. <laughs> okay, so it has to be hung over here because if it's over there, then the line is not going to be able to get up in there. Okay, I feel like I should spray it and test it before I, I'll spray it into the, here, let me turn you around. <laughs> this is so weird. All I want to know after that is, does this qualify as the strangest first impressions on YouTube? Let me know. So I'm just going to say it wasn't quite as bad as I had expected it to be. Uh, it was a little weird because I did definitely expect to be like dripping wet once I used it. But it wasn't that bad. Just kind of sit there and do the little shake. Um, I have heard people say that they use the bidet and then they use like what they call family cloth to kind of dry themselves off. Which is like reusable toilet paper. Or just like a cloth. Like a reusable cloth. I'm not sure if I'm about it with using reusable cloth to dry off. I think I'll just practice the drip dry method for now. But um, first impressions are I think this week won't be that bad. I think I can do this. But that was also, by the way, only with number one. 
I'm really worried and weirded out about using it with number two. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna take you in the bathroom for that test. Like it's just weird. So what that's we'll see. I'll keep you updated. So I did it. I used a bidet for one week and no toilet paper. What do I think? What are the pros? What are the cons? Will I continue using a bidet after this experiment? So honestly, using the bidet was not as intimidating as I assumed it would be. I definitely thought it was going to be really scary. And I also really thought that I wasn't going to be able to tell when I was actually clean. It turns out I definitely like over thought it in my mind and thought it was going to be some crazy thing when in reality it's just not that serious so let's talk about the pros and the cons. Pros to this is that it is supposedly less wasteful right? Less water use, less resource use, no shipping associated with your toilet paper, no packaging, no paper to throw away. All of those are wonderful and it also will save you a ton of money even if you're using the cheapest toilet paper on the market. Cons are it's just not as convenient or as easy to use as toilet paper and it's also going to take some Form of adjustment period. So under that category of tricky to use, you kind of have to figure out a way to dry yourself off. Either you're gonna drip dry, which honestly took way too much time. That is something that I would have to look into is a way to dry yourself off. I don't have like 10 minutes to drip dry every time I have to take a pee. It's just Definitely a con for me. Another con that you might have to take into consideration is whenever you have other people over to your house or other people in your household. So maybe you want to start using the bidet for just yourself, but like if your partner doesn't want to use it, because that's kind of a, a big sell to get your partner to do something like this, then you'll probably still have to have toilet paper around and also for guests. So it, it's not like a huge deal to keep toilet paper, but you not use it but it's definitely a con because you can't just not have toilet paper. At least I don't think that would work for most people. Another pro to this is people have said like so many times that using a bidet will keep you more clean than toilet paper. I feel like I didn't really experience that, but I guess that's a pro you could take into consideration. So yeah, I think, I think those are the main pros and cons like cleanliness, it taking way too much time to use a bidet, and then money being like a huge thing there. Whatever your priorities are in life is probably how you would choose between the two. But as far as me, do I plan to like completely switch over to a bidet forever? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I definitely think if I was using virgin toilet paper that was like really expensive and wasteful and that sort of thing that I might switch. But the toilet paper I use is by a company called Who Gives a Crap. I have a $10 off discount code. This is not sponsored, but I'll link it below if you guys are curious. It comes wrapped in paper so there's no plastic um, and all the materials are recycled, meaning that no trees were like grown and then cut down and then turned into toilet paper from my booty. <laughs> it comes from paper that otherwise would have been thrown away. It's recycled paper. So it's taking away the water that's associated with growing that tree. Of course, there's still water taken into consideration with the like manufacturing process, but there are just some things about like zero waste that like I don't think I can do. I do not think that yours truly will become an avid bidet user. That's just not, this week did not put me on to that train. But there are a ton of different bidets out there, different forms of them, different ones that like do different things if that makes sense. So I'm really curious, what do you use? Do you have a bidet? Do you use toilet paper? What, does this entice you to give a bidet a try? I'm really curious. Maybe there are better bidets out there that would change my mind and change my perception of this whole thing, but this experiment did not turn me into an avid bidet user, I'm sorry to say. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was fun for you, getting to learn more about bidets and other options other than just toilet paper that can help reduce your waste, uh, not just your solid waste, but your water waste, and also save you money. I'd really love if any of you guys try a bidet, let me know how it goes, or if you already use one, let us know in the comments. Anyway, remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye guys. What is up you guys coming to you, coming at you from my hotel room editing this video the night before you're going to see it in Portland editing. Can't stop, won't stop. 
Anyway, I wanted to say um, I forgot to do shout outs and I forgot to do them for the last like couple videos. So I'm going to put a few on the screen. I know I saw one of somebody who got some Ethique shampoo bars. Shout out to you. Um, and I'll put a few more on the screen. I've got a lot of tags recently, but I just wanted to shout you guys out. I love, love, love when you tag me in your stuff. I didn't get to see what you're up to and I really appreciate it and I love you so much. Um, I forgot to send out my stickers the last round of shout outs, but I need to go through my email and do that. But um, let me show you actually since I have my laptop literally right here These are the stickers that I give away to the people who are my shout out of the week. So uh, This one's been through some things because I'm traveling But it has my quote on it and uh, you know how my quote goes So if you were included in this week's shout out email me your shipping address and I'll send them out to you. Okay, that's all. Bye guys